welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl daisy budgets and over here on my channel i do savings challenges sinking funds updates cash stuffings a little bit of everything so if any of that sounds like something you might be interested in make sure to like comment and subscribe and smash that notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video okay so today you guys we are going to be doing something a little bit different I am going to be reorganizing my categories and my binders. I've been getting a little frazzled with my binders lately. Um, I keep trying to find some kind of like rhythm that works for me. And so what I decided to do was sit down with a pen and paper and write down how I want my binders broken down. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have written down here five um different binders i know that i want definitely want a high priority a family binder i wanted to put my family and my high priority together and i tried doing that for a while but i feel like i have so many specific things pertaining to family that that deserves kind of its own binder such as um back to school and summer camp and things like that so I want that to have its own binder. And I also noticed that I had some categories that probably should have went other places. Like I had my family fun and my high priority, which is fine because my family is my high priority. But because I have so many things pertaining to family specifically, I felt like that was better suited in a family binder because it's family fun. Okay, then I have my low priority binder and my future binder. And then lastly, my business binder. So I'm going to put this off to the side. As you can see here, I did create some new envelopes for myself. These are white vellum cash envelopes. So it's like that minimal transparency so that you can kind of see through them. I definitely wanted to go with something a little bit more minimal. And this is what I came up with. And I love it. And that font, oh my gosh, that font is everything. So I created a bunch of envelopes for myself. So if you're interested, these will definitely be available in my Insta shop. Okay, so first things first, I want to start with high priority. So currently, this is my high priority binder. So let me make sure I have my little, let me move my little list over here so I can peek at it easier. Okay, so car maintenance, that's fine. That can stay there. Family fun is a category that I want to move into its own family binder. So leave that to the side. Uh, Christmas can stay there. Miscellaneous can stay there. That is definitely high priority for unbudgeted expenses. Um, emergency, high priority giveaways is high priority to me medical i feel like is in the right place um holidays definitely in the right place birthdays birthdays because this envelope is only pertaining to the members of my family i feel like that should move into the family binder Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side as well. And then Amazon. My Amazon is empty, you guys, because I actually made a payment. But we'll speak more about that in my next cash stuffing. Okay, so, so what I wanted to add to this was Class A. Class A is for my husband. Um, he is a tow truck operator and I really want him to go for his class A. He really wants to go for his class A so he can drive heavy duty trucks. I want to start making this a priority once we are debt free, of course. So I'm going to add this into the binder. I feel like now let me know what your thoughts are below, but I feel like I was going two ways with this category. I was like, okay, well, it's pertaining to my husband and his fam, and obviously my husband is my family. So should I put it in my family binder? And I was, you know, toggling back and forth whether or not it should go into this binder or the family binder. But I ultimately decided that it should go into this one. Let me just give it its own little tracker.
Okay, and the last one I want to put in here, I actually had it in my future binder. And it is three to six months. Okay, where are you? I haven't started stuffing this one yet because um, we're still working on our final debt. So once we finish paying off our final debt, I will start allocating funds towards three to six months emergency fund. Okay. Okay, and that is that because I feel like that's where it's best suited. So now I'm done with this one. This is my high priority. Everything I want in there is in there and everything that I felt like should be elsewhere is now. So I'm going to put this one back. And you guys, I hurt myself. I got a little boo-boo. So if you catch that, that's what that is. So just ignore it. <laughs> it hurts. Why are the smallest cuts so freaking painful? You would have thought somebody came with like a hatchet and chopped off a finger. Like it hurts so freaking bad. Now this is where I start getting like, I don't know what to do. At, right now at this moment, I have my family stuff in here. And I also have uh, my low priorities in my daisy binder and i recently did this off camera to try and see but i don't like the idea of having the two um together so i'm gonna remove this and i am going to remove my low priorities put that to the side and i think the daisy binder is going to be my family binder okay so i did make new envelopes so I'm going to sift through these and try to find the ones that I'm looking for. Okay. I think that's the way it goes. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to take the money that I have in here out of here. And it's going into the new envelope. There we go, looks so pretty. Okay. So there is that, next up is Bubba. Okay. Bella. I'm so glad I'm getting to this, guys, because it has been driving me nuts. But I feel like I am going to be like a binder short um, for my low priorities. So we shall see once we get to that what I'm going to end up doing. Pumpkin pie, my dog. So let me know what you guys think of these envelopes. I've been really feeling the more minimal vibe. I mean, I, I can go either way, honestly, because I love colorful and bright and sparkly and all those things girly, but I also love a minimal vibe too. Okay, family fun. Family fun was a category that used to be in my high priority. So here it is. I'm going to remove this and put it over here. So now family fun is going to be in my family binder. I just feel like that makes most sense to me. And honestly, like there is no one size fits all kind of method to budgeting. Um, you kind of have to do what works for you and that comes over time with trial and error and, you know, over time, hopefully you gain a rhythm. Wait a minute. What was this? Okay. This was birthdays. <laughs> I'm over here talking so much. Uh, 
I don't want to mix up my money. Okay. Oh, this is starting to get a little thickums. Okay. And let's see. Lastly, I have back to school over here. I have that here. So, oh, I forgot to put my parents' tracker in. Okay, hold on a second. Here we go. Parents. And it was family fun. Then birthdays. Okay. Now back to school. And lastly, I have summer camp, but summer camp is actually still in my challenge binder. So, okay, so he was the money that we saved up. So we should have 450, 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, uh, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So we have 450. I'm going to take 150 and I think I'm going to put that towards back to school. I think, I believe that's what I wanted to do. And then the rest is going to go into summer camp. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. Okay, so we have 300 in summer camp. And it's a little less expensive because it's only once a week. Okay, so that's for my son's basketball camp this summer. Okay, so that's gonna go in here. And that is also going to get a tracker. Okay. And I believe that is it. So now my family binder looks like this. And I love the way the yellow daisy binder looks with these envelopes, with that font. It is just gorgeous. Okay. So now I have my necessities and wants envelope. My husband's necessities and wants. My daughter's. My son's my dogs, my grandson, parents, family fun is now in here, birthdays is now in here, back to school is now in here, summer camp is now in here as well, and that is it. And I feel like, doesn't that make more sense? I feel like all of these categories together just make a lot more sense for me. Okay, so we're done with the family binder. So now actually, I should take out the binders that I'm done with. So I'm done with my high priority binder, my budget book, my family binder. Oh wait, I still have this money here. Okay, so I'm telling you guys, I am a mess. This is also gonna go into back to school. So we have 150 added to this. So now it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 620, 630, 640, dollars And I believe I'm still going to be allocating some more funds to this. It can get really, really expensive. So I'm definitely going to keep adding to that. So now we are done with this one. And we are done with these envelopes okay next on my list so this is done this is done so next let's go to low priority and that is where i am having an issue because i have i need five binders i have other binders 
but again i don't like to show you guys things like i don't want to have on cameras things that you guys can't get for yourselves so i don't know if i should just like add on another daisy binder i'm already using two zip binders i have this one for my high priority and then i also have one that i use as my business binder maybe i should maybe i should use another zipper binder because since this one is already high priority and it's in a zip maybe my low priority should be in a zip also should i do that or should i just grab another daisy binder what do you guys think i wish i wish that i could talk to you guys <laughs> i really do because i'm so indecisive but i do need a binder for my low priorities but for right now let's just move on to our future binder okay i'll figure that out towards the end because I, I just, I can't right now. <laughs> I can't, I can't deal. Okay, so my future binder. Okay, first things first, my YouTube. I actually want to get out of here because I feel like this would make more sense in my business binder because YouTube is a part of my business. I feel like it just makes sense for it to be in my business binder. So that is that we'll put right here for now okay so we have home sweet home savings and again this binder is for everything pertaining to my future uh or to the future so like getting a, a month ahead on bills i actually want to get two months ahead um okay so month ahead is there that's fine uh, my kids future savings uh p.o box oh this is not even in the binding okay Hold on a second. Okay, P.O. Box. P.O. Box, I wanted to get out of here also because this is another one I feel like should go into my business binder because my P.O. Box will be pertaining to my business. So I want to take that out. Closing costs. Home upgrades. Again, that's like for my future home furniture. Retirement invest. I feel like that makes sense to be in my future binder and be a blessing. I definitely want to be in a position one day to be able to be a blessing to somebody. So um, I don't mind that being in my future binder. So that is it for this. We're done with this one, the daisy binder. So let's move on now to my business binder. I actually moved Freddie into my business binder. <laughs> Okay, so for my business binder, I did want to add P.O. Box and my YouTube taxes. So I think I'm just going to add these in the back. Okay. So P.O. Box and YouTube taxes okay and that is my business binder so now we're left back again with these guys okay let me be right back and see what I can come up with Okay, so I decided on another pink daisy binder. This is what I'm going to use as my low priority binder. Okay, so let's set this guy up. So now I have two pink daisy binders, which, you know, is not ideal. I like to have everything a little different, a little unique, but that's okay. Um, maybe down the line, I'll add a new binder to the shop and I'll switch this one out. Okay. So now... Low priority has gifting, date night, support a friend, 
Costco. Bite Me, which is my fishing envelope. Easy Pass. And Vacation. And that is it for that. Okay, so now we have all of our binders. So we have my high priority, my family binder, my future binder, and my low priority binder along with my business binder. All right, you guys. So I'm so glad I was able to tackle that. You guys have been driving me nuts for like the longest. And now you know what the next thing is going to be that's going to be driving me nuts is the fact that I have two exact binders. But maybe we'll change that in the future. I did just need an extra binder right now to have it separated. It just works better for me that way. The way that I had my binder set up was working for me for quite some time. But as our budget evolved and as you start adding new categories, sometimes things can get like a little jumbled or whatever. So sometimes it's just good to lay out your categories, lay out your binders, um, make a list. Pen and paper is my best friend. I make a list for everything, you guys. And I figure out, okay, how do I want to separate it? It. where do I want these categories to be everything being in a place that works better for me is awesome because it just helps me along my budgeting journey for things to go more seamless that way so you may want to customize your journey to yourself maybe you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of categories that you have and you want to remove some categories or you have too many binders and you need less binders it really is depending on personal preference and what works for you so now that i have that all set and done i am going to be ready for my next cash stuffing so make sure that you guys like comment subscribe and smash that notification notification bell so that you don't miss my next cash stuffing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.